welcome to my channel, my name is Miguel Perez and today I want to show you what's inside of my backpack. Even though I graduated and I don't go to school anymore, I still use a backpack. For my lifestyle, a backpack is an essential, it's a necessity. But just because I carry a backpack, that doesn't mean that I'm going to overstuff it. And everybody has their own ways of carrying their own things. Some might prefer messenger bags, others might prefer just stuffing their pockets. And so today I'm going to give you an inside look at my personal life and show you what exactly I carry in my backpack. Before we get started, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, feel free to share this video with whoever you want. Let's get started! This is the backpack that I use. I bought this at Target for $30. I really like the way that it looks, both with the leather and the nylon. Another thing that I like about this is how thin the backpack is. It really forces you to think about what you're going to be putting inside of it. And getting inside of the backpack, the first thing I carry is a battery bank. This little bad boy can pack in 10,000 milliamp hours of power. And the cool thing about it is that it's got a solar panel. Therefore, if the main battery runs out, you can use the solar panel to charge all of your electronics. This thing is a lifesaver. Next up, I always carry a water bottle. It can be either a blender bottle, a shaker cup, kind of like this one, or just a traditional cheap water bottle that you can get at the supermarket. I'm a sucker for all black everything, and this shaker cup from G Fuel is really cool. It is very important to stay hydrated. A suede hat. Everybody has bad hair days, and sometimes you just don't want to do anything to your hair. There are days when I just want to get up and get out and do something, but I don't want to comb my hair. Whereas if you have this to hide your hair, now it looks like you put in some effort to get out. A book to read. Staring at your phone all day can be very straining on your eyes, and sometimes it looks very out of place. And I'm gonna be honest, sometimes being on your phone all day can get boring. So I always carry a book in case I have to wait for long periods of time. Notebooks. To me, notebooks are about as valuable as gold. This is where I write down my ideas for certain videos, certain projects. I'm not gonna open this up only because my handwriting is absolutely terrible. But still, if you have an idea and you don't want to forget it, you can always just write it down on a notebook. And of course, you can't write anything on a notebook without pens. I carry multiples from your basic schoolboy, rugged bad boy, and just flat out fancy. And to carry them around, I also have a pencil case. I bought this one at my local Daiso for about a buck fifty, and it is very well made too. The only problem with it is that, well, since it's made out of metal, it makes a lot of noise. But hey, a buck fifty. Not bad. Spare charger for my phone. This one is self explanatory. Everybody runs out of juice throughout the day, so you might as well carry one around just in case. Tissues! Because runny noses are annoying. And I do not want to wipe my runny nose on my sleeve. Seriously, don't do that. That's disgusting. So to avoid that, I carry a pack of my own tissues. Very cheap, very useful. Eye drops! There are days when I have to wake up extremely early and my eyes are bloodshot red because, well, it's a pain for me to go to sleep. Even though a good night's sleep will fix that, I unfortunately do not have that luxury. And because I work in an environment that requires me to interact with people on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't want to scare anybody off with red eyes. So eye drops for me aren't essential. A uh, spare stick of deodorant. I don't know if this is just me, but one of my biggest fears is to go somewhere and to forget to put on deodorant and smell absolutely terrible. I keep a spare stick of deodorant just in case. Travel sprays of colognes. I carry Prada Luna Rosa Black, and over here I have Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. I'm an absolute sucker for colognes and fragrances. That is pretty much a no-brainer. A small tin of Vaseline for my lips. My lips have a tendency to crack and chip, so I always make sure to have some type of lip balm or Vaseline inside of my backpack. Headphones! Self-explanatory. Multiple packs of sticky notes. Whenever I come up with an idea or an extension to an idea, instead of wasting more paper in my notebook, I just write it down on a sticky note, take it out, and paste it on a page as an extension. Sunglasses. The sun is gonna get in your eyes one way or another. This can be very annoying, and if you're driving, it can be very dangerous. The last thing that I want is to be driving, have the sun hit my eyes, I squint, and next thing you know, I get into an accident. I would rather spend $10 on a cheap pair of sunglasses rather than over $9,000. See what I did there? 
on hospital bills. A multi-tool. I got this at Old Town in San Diego. I don't know if you can see this, but it's got San Diego and the California Republic engraved into the wood. And my name is also engraved in it. I also attached a bottle opener on it because I was stupid and I messed up the bottle opener that's in here. This is more out of function rather than appearance. So there's a very personal story behind this. I got this on my 20th birthday. We were in Old Town, I was hanging out with my little brother and my parents. My parents ended up calling me over to where they were hanging out. I have absolutely no idea how they did it, but somehow they managed to convince the band that was playing to sing happy birthday to both me and my little brother. That was definitely one of the most pleasant surprises that I had, and to remember it, I got this. And finally, my Nintendo Switch. Multiple games, the main console, even a spare charger for it. There are some times when I don't want to use my phone or I don't want to read, so the next best thing is to play some video games. The Switch, in my opinion, is the best console that Nintendo has released next to the Game Boy and the Nintendo DS. Mario and Smash Bros are very, very good games on the Switch. That's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next time.